Hello guys, hope you will be fine and taking good care of your health. Welcome to this video. My name is Sagi Ahmed. I am your math teacher. And in this video, we are starting exercise 3.1, question number 1. In question number 1, we have to convert the following decimals into rational numbers. So first of all, we learn the method of how we convert a decimal number into a rational number. So first of all, what is rational number? What is rational number? A number that is written in the form of P over Q is called rational number. Like for example, 5 over 3, 7 over 9, all these are rational numbers that are written in, uh, in the form of a, uh, P over Q. Second. What is uh, how we can what is the steps uh, by which we convert a decimal into a rational number? So before discussing those steps, uh, what is a decimal number? Uh, I write here five three point seven eight nine. This is a decimal number. Here this is uh, this point is called decimal point. Decimal point. And these three digits are called um, decimal um, decimal part decimal part of a decimal number. As a whole, we can say this is a decimal number, and this uh, part after point all numbers are decimal part of decimal number. Okay, now. We solve the questions. Our first part is 0 0.2, 0 0.36. 0 0.36. How we convert this decimal number into a rational number? So here also we discuss the steps that we follow here. First step is remove the point. How we remove the point? 0 0.36 when we remove the point we will place a fraction and we place one just below the point again question number one part number one that is 0 0.36 we want to convert this decimal number into a rational number for this purpose just um, write uh, that decimal number that is 0 0.36 and then place one just below the point and then write zeros then write zeros on um, how much zeros how much digits on the right side of a decimal point look at here you can see there are two points three and six there are only two points on the right side of point so therefore we place two zeros if there are three points on the right side of point we place three zeros okay when after this place here equal sign after this uh, when we remove point here we get 36 because we do not write here 0 on the left side of digit uh, 0 is uh, also present like this 1 2 3 these are counting uh, 0 is present here but we do not write 0 we just directly write 1 2 3 that's why I remove this 0 we place this zero only when when we place point when we remove point we remove this zero is also here we get 36 over 100 now we convert this decimal into a rational number next step is we must convert we must convert uh, this uh, fraction into a lowest form so here 36 over 100 how we convert it into a lowest form we cut on both numbers numerator and denominator on the same table like this 2 1 the 2 1 carry it becomes 16 2 8 the 16 both numbers are divided on the same number that is 2 2 5 the 10 and here we get 0 again these are dividable on the table of 2 so here we get 2 9 the 18 2 2 the 4 10 2 5 the 20 
here we get 9 over 25 this is the lowest form of this uh, question uh, because uh, of this fraction 36 over 100 we get the lowest form 9 over 25 we can't um, uh, cut uh, these numerator and denominator on any table that's why this is the answer now we move to the second second part its second part is 0 0.75 0 0.75 so here we write its second part its second part is 0 0.75 now we follow the same steps first of all um, we uh, write it in a fraction form 0 0.75 we place fraction below the 0.75 then we cut point we place 1 on the place of point and then we put zeros how many digits on the right side of point there are only two digits on the right side of point there's four we place two zeros on the right side of point okay okay if there are three digits on the right side of point we place three zeros here okay now here we get 75 over 100 next step is we have to write it in a low, in a lowest form for this purpose you can see in the last there is 5 and there is 0 so both will be can be dividable on the table of 5 so here we get 5 and the 5 here we get 25 5 5 the 25 here 5 2 the 10 0 5 3 the 15 5 4 the 20 here we get 3 by 4 this is the uh, lowest form of 75 over 100 this is the answer now we saw this uh, a difficult part difficult one that is minus 0 0.125 so uh, that is also easy if you understand this question part number 3 part number 3 is minus 0 0.125 and we convert we have to convert it, this decimal part into a um, rational number so first of all we place minus sign here 0 0.125 first step is we place fraction here then we um, cut uh, this decimal point and we place one just below this point and then we count how many digits on the right side of point that are one two and three three digits on the right side of point so we place how much zeros on the below the one to five three zeros one two three because there are three digits on the right side of point okay here we get one two five one two five over thousand now we have to cut it on the same table both you can see in the last there is uh, five so both uh, will be cut on the table of 5 so 5 to the 10 uh, 2 carry it become 25 5 5 the 25 5 to the 10 0 0 here we get 25 over 200 25 on the 25 25 8 the 200 here we get 1 over 8 this is the lowest form now we solve it's in uh, another part uh, now I am solving it's uh, eighth part eighth part is looking a uh, uh, different one as compared to previous questions okay so now I am solving it's eighth part eighth part eighth part is minus zero point zero zero six two five okay now here minus zero point zero zero six two five first step is we place fraction then second step is we cut the point and place one just below the point then we have to place zeros how much zeros how much digits on the right side of this point there are four digits one two three four five sorry there are five digits on the right side of point one two three four five so here we place five 
zeros one two three four five okay now here we get the answer that is six two five and we remove all zeros on the left side of oh, sorry we must place this negative sign we uh, remove all zeros on the left side of uh, these non-zero digits okay here we get uh, one one two three four five zero now we cut on the table of five five and the five uh, here we get twelve five to the ten here we get twenty five 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 the twenty five here we get five to the ten how much is zeros four zeros so we place here four zeros one two three zero so one two three four zeros okay now here here we get minus one two five divided by 20,000 so here I write 20,000 20,000 now we cut it on the table of 5 5 to the 10 here we get 5 5 to 25 now here uh, 5 for the 20 0 0 0 here we get minus 25 over 4,000 again it will be cut on the table of 5 5 5 the 25 5 is the 40 here we get 800 again it cut on the table of 5 5 and the 5 5 to 5 and the 5 uh, 3 carry it become 30 5 6 the 30 here we get 160 so here we get the answer minus 1 over 160 this is the answer i hope you understand this question you have to solve all other questions yourself if you have any problem in any question you can ask me, my number is in your WhatsApp group uh, by the name of Sagir Ahmed. So, if you have any problem in any question, you can ask me directly on my WhatsApp on my WhatsApp number. Okay. Uh, and after solving uh, the question uh, in which you have problem, I will send you. And uh, remaining question you have to solve yourself. I hope you understand all these questions properly. Allah fi.